Welcome back to Agro.js. Today's question is leak code 1836, remove duplicates from an unsorted linked list. So we're given a head of a linked list and we need to find all the values that appear more than once in the list and delete the nodes that have any of those values and then return the linked list after the deletions. So this question has a two-step process. One is we need to find locations of all duplicates and then two, delete those duplicates. So if we think logically about this, we're going to have to iterate over this linked list and we're going to have to create some kind of frequency map. So our frequency map is going to be an object containing the values of the nodes mapped to their count. Right, so we're going to loop over this and for every value we see, we're going to increment its respective value within the frequency map. So one is going to be mapped to one, two is going to be mapped to two in this first example here, and three is going to be mapped to one. So we have found the locations of the duplicates. Next, we need to delete these duplicates. Now this is the tricky part, right? Because if you remember a way to delete duplicates within a singly linked list, you need to be at the previous node, right? And then you need to set its next pointer to next.next .next and essentially skip over this. And for the second part of this, we'll create a previous node that will point to the head and we'll create a clone of this. And then we'll iterate over this and we'll always be checking the next value. So we check this value we look in the frequency map to see whether that value is greater than one. In this case, it's not, so we can iterate over. So now we've moved across, we're at one. We check the next node. So the node of value two, we look in the frequency map, two maps to two. So this is a duplicate. So in this case, we set this pointer, we break it here, and we point here. So this has now been removed. We move along and we check the next node value. Again, this is two, so we look in the frequency map. This is a duplicate. So we set the next pointer here to the next value, which in this case is going to be pointing to null. And what we need to return is the list node that we created that points to the head of this linked list. We need to return its next value. So say this is called prev, we just need to say prev.next. So time complexity for this is going to be O of n, where we look through this linked list twice, and space complexity is going to be O of n as well, because we are creating a frequency map here. So the first step for this is to create that frequency map. So let's clone this linked list. Let's initialize the frequency map to an object. So while clone doesn't equal null, so not at the end of the linked list, if the frequency map doesn't contain clone.value, so the current node we're on, then we set that value to equal one, right? So we're adding it to the frequency map for the first time. Else, if it's already in there, then we need to increment that value. So frequency map at clone.val, and we're just gonna increment it. And don't forget in here, we need to update clone's position. So we state clone equals clone.next, and this will allow us to exit this while loop. Then let's create the previous node, which is going to point to the head of this. So if we look in the definition up here, we need to create a list node and we can pass in a value parameter and an X parameter. So new list node, pass in the value. This is arbitrary, so we can pass in minus one and we'll pass in head as the next node. So this points to head now. And then let's create a clone for this. So clone is equal to prev, right? We don't wanna be, we don't wanna be updating prev here because we're gonna be returning prev.next at the end. So we need to create a clone for this. And seeing as we've already declared clone up here, we're just updating it like this. So our clone, doesn't equal null, so we're not at the end of the linked list. We need to check whether we have the next value, and we also need to check within the frequency map the next node's position, whether it's greater than one. So if we have a duplicate, so check if have next node, and check if next node is a duplicate. So our clone.next and frequency map clone.next.val is greater than one, so a duplicate, then we remove it. So clone.next is equal to clone.next.next. And remember, if this doesn't run, we still need to update clone, right? So state clone equals clone.next. And at the end of this, we are going to be returning prev.next. Because remember, prev is pointing to the head, and we just want to return the head onwards. Let's give this a run. Submit it. And there you go. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.